guys, today I'm going to be doing a first impressions video on a new makeup brand that I found at Walmart and it is called Koki. I'm going to read a little bit about the brand. It says, hi, we're Koki. We were born in 2015, raised in Maryland. Did you know that Koki derives from the Korean word for elephant? The elephant represents power, wisdom, strength, and loyalty. Just a few things, few of the things that we think are beautiful too. They are cruelty free and they don't test on any animals which I think is really really cool so let me show you the three products that I have I only have three and they're all eye related um, so this is the their one of their eyeshadow palettes it's in the smolder um, and I did open it and I have swatched this a little bit I have this eyebrow kit this is in brunette. I'm not sure if this is going to work out for me because it is in brunette. I might have to go in with this dark shade here, um, but we'll try it. The really cute thing about this is it has, it is legitimately a brow kit. So you pull this out and there is a little, like, there's like a little spirally wand thingy. Um, there's even like an angled brush and there are tweezers in here, which I think is just so cute. Um, perfect for like traveling. And then I have a Koki Velvet Smooth Eyeliner, and this is in Deepest Black. So I'm going to prime my eyes, and I am going to give this a chance. So I'm going to use my Tried and True Urban Decay Primer Potion. So I'm going to take this shade up here. Um, it's kind of just like a good looking transition shade, I think. I'm going to take that on this elf angled contour brush and we're just gonna take some product dust off the excess and we're gonna work this in to decrease to oh if anything's really building up I feel like I'm using a lot of product I'm going to try this shade down here. I'm going to try this on a smaller brush. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Tape tapered stipple brush. I'm just going to work this in the outer corner. That shade is not bad. Um, I think I want to use this shade and a little bit of this shade, so I'm going to take this shade first over here. It's kind of like a bronzy shade, and I'm going to focus this on the outer. i take this one right here. It's a little bit better. It's not great, but it's not horrible either. Um, it's nothing like, um super pigmented or anything. So we're going to try the eyeliner out. We're going to try this in the waterline. See how long it stays throughout the day. Ooh, it's pretty creamy. Kind of pigmented. I actually like this eye look. I'm not, I'm not completely hating on it um, now that it's kind of all come together. Okay, we are going to go on to eyebrows now. Um, we're going to use the darker one. And you know what? Just our ha-has. We're going to see how we like these little guys. So I'm going to brush them through. This actually does not look bad. This is nice. The powder's pretty pigmented too. Okay, so I tried out three different products from Koki. I have to say, as of right now, I don't hate the way that my eye makeup looks. I don't really hate the brows either. The only thing I'm skeptical on is the eyeliner. Um, but we'll see. We'll try it out for the day. Um, I'll check back. I'll check back in with you at the end of the day to let you know 
what I liked, what I didn't, what wore well, um, what held up. Um, I'm kind of excited because maybe this is a new brand that I can love at Walmart. Um, so yeah, let's just get on with the day and I'll talk to you in a few hours. Hey guys, that is the update from how the makeup went the other day. This is nothing but my actual opinion. I actually enjoyed the brand. Overall, the brand itself is really, really cool and different, and I'm really excited to try other things from the line. Um, the thing is, not every line is going to have something, not everything in the line is going to be perfect. So I'm just going to go in and completely tell you my opinion and how it wore, um, what I'm still really liking and what I'm trying out. Keep in mind, I've only had these for a few days, and I'm just trying them out now, and I'm still playing and seeing if I like them. So as of my opinion right now, this is how I feel. So let's start with the eyeshadow palette. So this is the thing that I would say is not the best out of the three products that I have. Um, this is a, you know, a nine pan palette. It's in the um, palette shade or like the palette's name is Some Older. You get them on your eyes and you start using a brush and you start blending them out. They're not blendable, um, which is very hard to find in drugstore um, eyeshadows. It's hard to find a good pigmented and blendable um, eyeshadow palette or single shadow. For some reason, I thought this palette to me was going to look a lot more brown and neutral and that's what I had in mind. And then I realized Smolder is kind of a rock vampy look and not like a neutral look. I usually go for neutral pans. Now, this is not neutral. There's got there's some neutrals in here, but they're very gray undertones. Overall, don't have an interest really in this palette. I feel like the whole thing about it isn't that spectacular. And it's ten dollars. Ten dollars. Now, I'm gonna give you another option that is the same price range and from the drugstore elf mad for matte now it is a complete matte palette but you can find the other palettes at the drugstore as well or if you go online um, you can find them this palette has neutrals and grayish tones and it is very versatile I use this palette almost every day I just thought I would give you another kind of pinpoint of what is really good um, and I really can say like this is top shelf the next thing the second product that I have to say is pretty good is actually the eyeliner the eyeliner is not that bad um it's really not it's nice and creamy which I have to say I really do like and it's super pigmented um sometimes with creamy eyeliners though you do they do not stay they smudge At the end of the night I have to say it did smudge a little bit of course I had been working that day I was running around and doing things um so it did smudge a little bit but it actually didn't look bad after it smudged um I kind of had a smoky look going on anyway and I really liked my makeup that day um it did stay pretty good it stayed throughout the evening and the thing that I like the most is the eyebrow kit which is weird because it's in the shade brunette but I use the second darkest shade and I really really like this palette I really like it um, it's super easy. I don't use the wax. I used it the other day and I hated how it looked. Today and even yesterday I used this for my eyebrows and I really really like it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informational to you guys. I hope it was fun. Um, I really want to test out more stuff from this brand so if you have anything that you want to know about from the brand or see in more videos let me know in the comments down below um, by tweeting me uh, I'm gonna leave the link for the website down below in the description box so feel free to go through the website and let me know what you want to see in an upcoming video and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and being interested in this if you are not already please subscribe subscribe for more videos and you'll be notified immediately if you hit the bell um, and that's about it guys yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed. I love you so much. Have a wonderful life, and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.